In this video, we'll be looking at arithmetic operations on functions and their domains. To find the domain of f plus g, f minus g, f times g, or f divided by g, you need to find what numbers the individual domains have in common, and then remember that the denominator of a fraction cannot equal zero. Let f of x equal x squared minus 3x and g of x equal 4x plus 5. We're asked to find each of the following and give the domain. f plus g of x, what we'll do is just add f of x and g of x. And so that'll be x squared minus 3x added to 4x plus 5. f plus g of x is x squared. And then when we add negative 3x and 4x, we get x and then plus 5. Since there's no restrictions on the domain of f or the domain of g, then the domain of the sum of the two functions will just be all real numbers. Next, let's look at f minus g. Again, that's equal to f of x minus g of x. So we have f of x, which is x squared minus 3x, subtract g of x, which is 4x plus 5. Now in this one, we'll need to distribute our negative. So this is uh, x squared minus 3x minus 4x minus 5. So our difference is x squared and then negative 3x and negative 4x is negative 7x and minus 5. The domain again is still all real numbers. Next, we'll find the product, f times g of x. So that'll be f of x multiplied by g of x. So f of x was x squared minus 3 x. And then we're multiplying that by g of x, which is 4x plus 5. We'll use FOIL on this. So x squared times 4x is 4x cubed. And then the outer product is x squared times 5. And then the inner product is negative 3x times 4x. And then the last ones multiply together and give me a negative 15x. We can combine these two. So f times g of x is 4x cubed to negative 7x squared and then minus 15x.
Again, no restrictions on either domain, so my domain is all real numbers. Finally, let's look at f divided by g of x. This is f of x divided by g of x, which will be f of x in the numerator, x squared minus 3x. And g of x is in the denominator, so 4x plus 5. Uh, no simplifying can be done here. But um, we need to designate that 4x plus 5 cannot equal 0. So subtract 5 from both sides. So 4x cannot equal negative 5. Divide both sides by 4. And x cannot equal a negative 5 fourths. So our domain then, showing that in interval notation, is from negative infinity to negative 5 fourths. And we're not including that negative 5 fourths. Union with, and then we're going to pick up on the other side of negative 5 fourths and include all real numbers up to positive infinity.